Hello, my name is Tony Winderbank, and I'm here with Nathan Staff, and we're both neurologists at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and we're leading the uh, trials that are going on using mesenchymal stem cells in clinical trials to treat amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. And we have finished a phase one trial which Dr. Staff will tell you a little bit more about uh, in a minute. And we're about to begin enrolling in a phase two trial. And we'll tell you a little bit about how that's organized as well. First of all, it's very important for us to thank all the people and the organizations that have funded our research to this point. And this includes the um, Judith and Jean Pape Adams Foundation, the State of Minnesota, the Mayo Clinic Center for Regenerative Medicine, the National Institutes of Health through the uh, Clinical and Translational Science Center at Mayo Clinic, and the ALS Association, but also many families, individuals, uh, friends of people with ALS who have given individual contributions to support the research. So, as I said, we're going to talk a little bit about our phase one trial, and I'll hand over to Dr. Staff to talk a little bit more about that. So, Nathan. All right. Thank you, Tony. So, uh, first, what I'd like to do is tell a little bit about uh, where we've been, and so that uh, means talking about our phase one study, or safety study. So, we recently completed this study, and it was a what we call a dose escalation study, where patients received escalating doses of mesenchymal stem cells over time. And we really were trying to figure out whether this was a safe approach in patients with ALS. And thankfully it was. We didn't uh, experience any serious adverse events that were thought to be attributed to the mesenchymal stem cells. And there was enough uh, interest in going forward with this that we've uh, moved now into a phase two study. And so let me tell you a little bit about how the phase two study is organized. Uh, the product is the same, so it will be mesenchymal stem cells that are grown out from patients' fat tissue. And so patients undergo a biopsy of their fat, usually in their abdomen, uh, done under local anesthetic. And then the mesenchymal stem cells, or MSCs, are isolated from the fat and then grown up in our cell laboratory. Uh, Patients will be invo involved in the study for approximately a year's period, uh, and patients will have a roughly three-month lead-in period where they're not receiving treatments. And then every patient will receive uh, up to four treatments, spaced three months apart, of these MSCs from their own body that are then injected into their spinal fluid via a spinal tap. So uh, the main uh, issue there is that there are multiple spinal taps uh, to deliver the cells, and then also there will be multiple spinal taps in between the treatments in order to learn more about the safety. And again, this really is uh, primarily a safety trial, but we'll be looking a little bit more uh, into trying to quantify whether there is any benefit uh, to patients with ALS. And we'll be using the standard uh, outcome measures that are used in ALS trials, uh, namely the ALS functional rating scale, and that'll be checked multiple times through the study. And with that, we're expecting to uh, enroll roughly 60 patients uh, starting in Rochester, Minnesota, and hope to be uh, starting very soon. Tony? So thanks very much, Nathan. That was, that was very clear and straightforward. Um, one of the important questions that everybody wants to know is, well, how do we get uh, involved with this trial? We have an email address, which is rstalsresearch at Mayo. Dot edu. And this email address is regularly reviewed. If you contact it, it will have some brief information and will also ask you uh, to send in some information about yourself and your interest in the clinical trial. And this will be reviewed regularly by our study team uh, and then appropriate patients contacted as we move forward with the trial. And we're to try and keep everything organized, that's, that's the only point of contact for admission into the trial. Um, we want to keep it simple and straightforward and make sure everyone has access who, who's eligible. 
We will also uh, be working, uh, as we have in the past, with uh, the company Brainstorm on a separate trial which uses bone marrow cells. And as that comes online, that will be coming online very soon as well, we will be providing more information. And we'll also uh, periodically update these video presentations to give you information about how the trial's going, what's happening, uh, the enrollment, and also try to answer some of the questions that we get uh, through our website or through the email address. So. Uh, thank, thanks again, and thanks especially to all of the patients who've participated in our clinical trials. This is a terrible disease, and it's only by working together with our patients, families, and our team here that we're going to come up with a solution. And we hope, we, we hope we're all successful together. So thank you, and we'll be talking again soon. Thank you. Thanks, Nathan.